All right, guys, so I'm finally back in my room. I just got through shooting my Okay guys, so I'm in my classroom right now and I just got through shooting my haul video. Um Okay guys, so yes, I am talking to you from up here. So um what you've been watching me do is just organize this closet over here that I should. Um, and I basically have put away most of my manipulatives. I have a few extras, so I think I'm gonna put them in this in this um storage space under here is in an old um, bin that I have over there um, and then I'm gonna get started on the reading material and start cleaning off these desks so that I can get some order going on in here productive today until the end I really didn't do much um, I could have gotten a lot more done but it's okay because tomorrow I'm gonna come in really motivated because um, in the last 30 minutes or so I did a lot um, and I'm basically done for the day because I have to leave here in like four minutes so I'm gonna quickly show you guys what I've done so I basically cleared it off most of my tables. I took all of these um, small group, small readers, and I'm gonna put them in bins like this. I have some at home, so I'm gonna bring those from home, and I'm gonna have one for each unit, and I'm gonna put a pocket on the front of there. So over here, I have organized my math containers almost. This is bothering me, so I am going to put it on top. I think it'll look better. I have three big clocks. So I'm gonna just put those up there. Um, and now all I have to do is some labels. So I'm gonna take pictures of everything so I make sure I have a label for everything. Um, and then I have one more bin that I need to get, but it's out in the car so I'll have it. And then this bin here needs to go in here. And I can probably, that like that yeah so I have one more bin that actually is going to go right there and I'm probably going to make that one pink to like take this lid off because I have some blue a uh, blue lid um, for this one so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now
And so when I bring my bins in, they'll kind of match. So the pink one will go there and that blue one is going right there. So I will have all of my bins for this. I'm gonna do measurements for my labels. I'm just gonna make them all the same size. I'm, I might make that one a little bit bigger, but I'm gonna do labels for everything. And I put all of my books, my big books over there and some old reading games that were in the room. I decided to keep those. Then I have some papers that I don't know what to do with. So all of these little boxes here, I mean um, bins, these are like wash bins. These will make good center bins. So I'm gonna clean these out and I'm gonna keep these for centers. And I'll just put the centers on the label. And I have more than enough um, white ones. So I'm just gonna use the white. I'm gonna get rid of that red one. And over here in my teacher area, I have some teacher manipulatives over here. Um, and I have a set of all of those manipulatives down there. I'm gonna put all of my teacher books up here and then whatever other teacher things I need. I brought my refrigerator in. And yeah, that's pretty much all I've done. Now I did put my teacher books up here for now because I wanna get um, just a book in just to kind of keep them separated up top. And then I will find a home for all of this stuff tomorrow. So tomorrow I'm gonna come in and find a home for everything. And then I'm gonna get started um, working on my walls and getting my things up. That's a wrap for day seven or day two for this week. Um, tomorrow's gonna be all about finding a home for everything, placing all of my bins where they belong and getting started on decorating this room. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good morning guys, um, today is day three of week two um, and I am <sighs> running behind. So I was not very productive yesterday. I did a lot of socializing, meeting new teachers, uh, more so than organizing my classroom. So today I am really going to hit it and get it done. So I have a few things in the car that I need to bring in and I will have to organize them as well. So I made the decision not to bring anything else in my room until what's already in here has a home. So that's what we're gonna work on first thing this morning. It's 10 o'clock now, I am going to turn on my background noise, which is a TV show. So you're gonna see me just placing things where I think they belong and then stacking up some things where I'm not sure where I wanna put it at and then I'll make those decisions later. So I'm about to get comfortable, which means just having on my teacher socks in my classroom and really get some things done. So let's get to it.
Okay guys, so my timer just went off um, and I have labeled all of my, well I have put all of my level readers into colored bands and these little baskets from Dollar Tree fit them really well. They kind of poke out on the side a little bit if you can see that, but I mean if you just push your fingers in there it works. And so I'm not going to spend <laughs> any additional money at Target, um, I'm not going to spend any additional money at Target Dollar Spot. For bins that are three dollars each when I have these that I have already invested in for my classroom and they work so um in that hour and 15 minutes I've almost cleared off everything um, I'm gonna continue to do that I'm gonna set another timer for about 45 minutes and I'm gonna really grind out and try to get all my area my tabletops cleared off and then I'm gonna go to lunch so let's keep going putting the adhesive square pockets from Target on my bins for my small group and I have to go put one more on the one for unit one and I'm going to place that one in my closet so I have access to it because all of that over there is just going to be things for me to have quick access to so that's where I'm going to put those and um all of my math manipulatives are over there but they could go over there as well but I don't know these extra manipulatives that I have on top of my um, area here, I'm about to clear all of this off and put them where they belong. And then I'm gonna finish up with the desktops as well. So here we go. I just poured out a ton of material and let me see if it'll let me zoom in over here that I was gifted over the summer from a friend. Um, she was shopping somewhere and they had like baskets for $5 and it was a ton of like just teacher stuff that came from the Target dollar spot. So for example, this is a little Frosty the Snowman, but when you hit it, it lights up. These are also cute. And yesterday I was gifted a treasure box how adorable right i'm actually going to spray paint it to make it more to fit to my classroom theme i was just going to cover it with some paper but i think spray painting it will be a lot quicker um and i'm probably going to do it like rose gold just to make it stand out a little bit but anyway in here is just and i was gifted all of the things that you see in here for my treasure box so right now i'm just going to load it up it'll be like the last little project that i do because it's not like a priority so I'm just gonna go through that bag over there and put items in the treasure box and put place things that I'm actually gonna keep and things I'm not gonna keep. Um, and then give a few things away to some other teachers and um, finish cleaning off the area. guys I'm in my final stretch for today um, and I'm gonna walk you quickly through what I've done I just went to lunch at like 2 o'clock so let's look at what we've done so far so um, I basically laid out my classroom um, for the most part um, this area back here is where my new desks are gonna go I just kind of blocked it off with that one but I'm definitely not gonna keep that um, I have my little writing area set up and I'm probably going to check on utilizing stools in my writing area versus chairs. So I'm going to try that out before we leave. I still haven't done anything to this area. It's still the same. Um, my table is still covered with things to do. But for the most part, I've kind of placed everything where I wanted to go. I have this little section over here for a conversation I'm having with my team teacher on tomorrow. And now I'm just going to work on cleaning off the rest of these counter spaces and cleaning off my desk so that I can start um, prepping it. <laughs>
okay guys so i just got through organizing my um high frequency word cards for each unit and each week i'm going to um put those into a basket and put it into my closet and then i'm gonna be i'm gonna wrap up for the day so when i come back in the morning the few things that i have to get off the countertops i'll do that and then i'll bring in my new uh, band that I have to go through and then I will start um, printing and mapping out what's going on my walls. Stay tuned for week two, day four on tomorrow. Okay guys, so today's plan is basically just to get my labels on things, get my countertops cleared off, um, and start with a little bit of decorating, start thinking about my quotes and things that I want to go up. I'm still debating if I'm actually going to wallpaper. Um, student desk I think they look fabulous 
um still that area in the back i'm unsure about um if i'm actually gonna have 24 students right now on my roster there are 19 however i'm still waiting on some desk and i'm gonna set that area up if i don't get 19 then i'm just going to shift this one over and move those desks out um really quick guys i wanted to show you this stuff is called goo off i'm gonna purchase the spray kind instead of this one because it's pretty strong but it works okay any glue any anything it was um it looked what looked like purple fingernail polish which i don't know why that would be in class but purple fingernail polish was on that and it came right off um also um when you take down things you know at least behind that black residue came right off with this so i went over each one of my desks with this goo off and then i followed it up with just um a dollar cleaner spick and span um just because i like the scent um but i really like to use um what's the name method cleaners they're they're really great but i haven't gone by target yet to pick up um, a bottle for the classroom so i will definitely do that as well and of course i'm going to definitely wipe my desk down um every day with lysol and spray them with that method cleaner it's just going to be a routine that i do before i leave every day because i want my um room to smell good but i also want it to be disinfected so finally um i put these little baskets as you can see on the desk and all these are those baskets i showed you in my haul video if you have not seen that i will leave a link in the description box below each desk has a colored um um snack bin from dollar tree so that one's black that's green that's red over here is blue and then this table is hot pink and then each table has a black caddy i'm also going to be putting um the table numbers on here um so now we're just going to get started on putting things away that's on all of this counter space here finding a place for everything
guys, so that's going to be the end of this video. Let me quickly show you what I've done. Okay, so as you can see, other than a few things that are clearly out of place, So here's my guided reading table. It still has a few things on here. Um, some things I'm gonna be working with on Monday, so I kind of organized those together. This is a miscellaneous table. I think I'm gonna keep it in the room though. I don't think I'm gonna get rid of it. Okay, so let me quickly give you a quick view. Let me give you a quick view of the room from the front. So everything is looking. So once I get all my pieces to my library, it will look even better. Um, so my counter, are clean I brought my Cricut to school I'm gonna leave it here um, because I'm not gonna do anything with it on the week over the weekend so Monday I'll start working on my quotes still have this little area back here because I'm unsure about how many students I'm gonna have number one and number two I don't have enough of these desks and then I just have a few things that are gonna be going up on the walls just back here in my writing area which I'm also going to lower next week as well um so yeah guys that's everything my little teacher area is pretty clean um this is some paper from when we moved so i'm gonna organize that um these are textbooks that i need to organize and this is just my little area back here in the front of the room i just have our dry erase boards some extra bands where i can reach them my computer layout and i'm probably going to leave this here i just have this in my room so i can use it when i need to move things okay guys that's gonna wrap up this video thank you so much for watching i really appreciate all of the support keep god first in everything you do and remember to teach with lots of class and sass bye guys